Hey what's going on guys, Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So in this video we're gonna be learning to make this invisible cloth magic trick in a very simple and easy way. So this is a basic sacking trick and we'll be using masking technique to generate this effect. So without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so let us first divide this tutorial into two steps. Step 1, shooting the scene and step 2, masking our video. So in the first step, all you have to do is shoot a video something like this. Make sure you keep your camera on a tripod and uh, act as if you are holding some um, cloth or handkerchief and just move it just like the way you see in the video and then just drop it like this one of our subscriber so uh, he requested me to make this tutorial so that he can make this and impress his kid so once you shoot the video something like this also ensure that you have a clean plate of the background that we'll be using for our effect okay so in this case it's just a static image that we're gonna be using as a clean plate okay so uh, once the video is in your timeline just move it above and drag this clean plate of your background under your original video and just extend this until the end of our video just like this so once this is done go to the point where your character starts starts bringing the handkerchief above the you know above the legs at this point I'll select my topmost video here and go to the effect controls and click on this free draw brazier tool this is also called as a pen tool and you can see that mask one is created let me go to 75% and then create a mask just like this all right so by default the mask is um, feather to 10 so I'll change this to 0 and in order to have this um, character appearing I'll just click on this inverted button just so that we can see it and the mask is only you know cutting this portion of our video okay so uh, let me zoom into 100% and uh, make sure you click on this timer button here for the mask path so that a keyframe is created and we can continue masking so um, now you can see that the mask is not appearing properly so just click on your video and click on the mask one that you have here perfect now you can see the mask right so now I'll move three frames forward or four frames forward and then I'll move the mask point in such a way that it aligns the uh, bottom most portion of our cloth just like this okay and I'll then five more frames forward by using this forward one frame right and then I'll mask this in such a way that it aligns the bottom most portion of our um, cloth here I'll zoom in it to 200 just so that you can see what's happening okay so um, as I do the masking I'll tell you different scenarios where we'll get confused here so when I click on this timeline here you can see that the mask is not appearing properly now um, so in order to let you know let it appear again click on your video here and click on the mask one just so that it appears 
so I'll move few more frames forward like this and then mask the video <clears throat> to the portion where you want it to be invisible uh, I can also use the scroll bar I mean the scroll button on my mouse to move um, frames along my timeline so this definitely comes handy when you are doing masking this is a tedious task but the effect is definitely worth it you also get into a scenario wherein you know you tend to change the mask rotation just like this um, always use ctrl z just to undo it this happens usually because when um, when you don't click the exact masking point and then uh, drag it so in that case the mask get rotated so just be careful be patient and just mask it like this let me fast forward this video just so that it doesn't you know be boring all right so i get into a situation now wherein i have to you know properly mask this portion as well so uh, i have only four more i mean four mask points at this you know at this um portion of the video you can always click on one of the line of our mask and create a new point just so that you know it will be helpful to mask out whatever that is not needed so this is one more quick tip that i can give you so you just have to cover the entire portion and then uh, continue masking So make sure you you know cover the the guy here so let me just cover this as well right so now if I start playing the video this is how it's gonna look like perfect you can see that there are some places where the hand is visible so at this point you can see that the hand is visible so you can always tweak the values um, whenever you want uh, by going to the exact frame there and then masking out it properly perfect So this is how you make the invisible cloth magic trick using Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you liked this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright, so see you guys next time with another tutorial.